to do some fun winter nails with some sparkles and snowflakes and all that other stuff. Um, also, as you guys can see, I finally have gotten my beauty room a little bit brighter in here. There's no more dark brown, no more orange. Um, I didn't think it was really good filming for me because I have such dark hair and darker skin that it was kind of hard to see what I was doing. So I think the white is a lot better choice. And I've kind of got some stuff from Ikea. Maybe I'll do a video when I'm all finished and show you guys everything that I did get. And you guys might be able to use it too because it was really cheap. So here is the look that I came up with. I have some two white snowflakes on here on a black background, some blue polka dots on there, and then also a glitter French tip, and just some rhinestones on the snowflakes. So I have listed everything below in my blog that we're going to need. Let's go grab it and get started, guys. All right, so the first color I'm using is a black shadow, and this is by Jellish. And we're just going to paint the whole entire nail with two coats of this. The next color I'm using is also by Jellish, and this is called Am I Making You Jellish? Now when you're using glitter, you want to make sure you shake it up really well so when you pull the brush out, you get a lot of the different sized glitter specks on there. This one does have um, multiple sizes of glitter in it, which I think makes it extra sparkly. So the first thing we're going to do is just build up a little bit of this glitter onto the tip. Once you've got your first coat, you can go ahead and cure and then apply a second coat like I'm doing here. And the goal is to leave no black showing at the tip. Alright, so now that we've cured a second time, we can go ahead and shake our polish again. And then we're just going to make a little bit of build up right here at the French tip line. And then we're gonna wipe off our brush and then paint downwards towards the tip of the nail just to get a little sparkle. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our brush and push this upwards. So the glitter that we just put on, you're just gonna push it upwards and this is going to help fade that harsh line. This process can take a little while, but I think it's important to spend a little time here because you don't want it looking like a French tip. We really want a faded look. All right, when you're satisfied, you can go ahead and cure. The next thing we need is to paint a top coat over this whole entire thing because we want a smooth surface when we go to make our snowflakes. So I like to add a top coat now. Next I've dropped down my polish onto an index card here. And the colors I'm using, one is by Jellish and this is Arctic Freeze. And then the blue one is a Space Girl polish and I got this off AliExpress. It's number 33. So I don't know, a lot of different sellers have different numbers for these, So, but it's AliExpress is where I got it. And then we're going to take a toothpick and begin drawing some straight lines coming out from the corner of our nail. You can do either side you want. I'm just going to stick with this side, it's easier for me. And we're just going to draw a straight line out. And then we're also going to draw two more out from this center one. All right, just like this. Now you can go ahead and cure now if you'd like, or I'm just going to move on. Now we're going to do a little bit of the accent of the snowflake, and I find it best to just draw small lines at first. You can make them longer if you need to, but a lot of the times when I was doing this um, for my trials and like the demos and everything that I was doing, I found that the lines kept running into each other because I was making them too long. So just make them short in the beginning, and then if you want to, you can lengthen them later. So here's what I have. I know it's a little hard to see the white on the silver because all the white is just reflecting everywhere. But here is what we are left with and you can go ahead and cure this and we can move on. 
Now I am going to be making the big snowflake and that is just a matter of drawing a bunch of lines evenly spaced apart. Um, so the easiest way to do this I find is to just draw one straight line like this and then go ahead and make your snowflake accent lines on the tops and the bottom. Now instead of drawing like you would think to draw one line straight diagonally through, just do one line at a time. Um, a lot of the times I found that my lines kept running into each other when I tried to do the straight line all the way across the whole entire snowflake. So just draw one line out and then draw this one in the middle of the other two and then you can go ahead and draw your accent lines and that way nothing ends up running into each other. So then we're just going to kind of follow this line the best that we can and draw it out and make our accent lines. And then we're gonna draw another line right in the middle of those two. And then our accent lines. All right, we are done with all the tough stuff. You can go ahead and cure now and we can move on. Now I'm just going to take that blue and a toothpick and we're just going to make a bunch of little dots everywhere, whichever size that you like. This doesn't really have any pattern or fashion, just I like to make some big ones and some small ones and just put them anywhere you feel like. When you're satisfied, go ahead and cure. So now I have a little bit of top coat dropped down onto my index card. I'm going to use a dotting tool and I'm just going to drop some of this top coat into the center of each of our snowflakes. So just like that, it's going to provide a base for our little rhinestones. Gotta have some jemmies in there. So we're just going to go ahead and pick these up. I have a little bit of top coat on my toothpick and we are just going to center them on either side of our little snowflakes and then we can go ahead and cure this. Finally, apply a top coat and we're all done, guys. Super fast, right? <laughs> it always seems so much faster when I do these videos than it actually does. It does take a little while, but I think it's worth it. I can usually wear this for about a month, so it works out for me, I think. To getting these winter nails. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!